Hey, what's up everybody? Happy holidays. I hope everyone's been having a great time in these lessons so far and you've learned some new and creative ways to modify your images. We're on the last lesson in On One's eight days of editing. And in this last lesson, I thought it would be great to take some creative compositing and masking techniques and use them to blend together multiple layers into one final scene. So let's jump into it. I'll see you inside the editing room. Inside of Photo Raw, I've navigated to the practice files for this lesson. We have our mountain, and then we have our climber here. And we're going to, going to combine these two using some creative masking techniques and some filters inside of Photo Raw. So let's grab this climber and the mountain. And to take these into the edit module as layers, let's select layers. The first thing that I want to do is I want to select this mountains layer. I'm going to hit V on my keyboard, and I'm going to make sure that it's fit to canvas. Because this mountains layer is a bit bigger than our climber layer, it was stretched out across the canvas a bit more. So I just selected this fit to canvas option to make sure that it's fit in there nicely. So now let's go over to our layers. Let's drag this climber of above our mountains so that we can see the climber here. And now what we need to do is we need to remove the climber from his background. And what I like to do before I start masking is I like to just set the basic tone. So I'm just gonna pull up on my exposure a little bit. And I'll pull up on the midtones. And maybe the whites a little bit as well. And that just allows me to see a lot more of these details in the climber so that when I'm masking, I don't miss anything. So now to the masking part, the fun part of the edit here. We're gonna head over here to the left side instead of these masking tools. And we're gonna go up to the top bar and we're gonna choose this AI quick mask option. And the AI quick mask is awesome for situations like this where we just need to paint over a particular subject or object and then remove the background from it. So we have our mode set to drop this means we need to paint over in red all of the areas on our photograph that we want to remove. And we want to remove this background, so let's just paint over the background in red. Then let's go up to our mode and we'll switch to keep. And now we're going to use this green brush to paint in over the areas that we want to keep in our photograph. And for these more delicate areas, just lower that brush size and then you can paint over these smaller regions a bit easier. So let's head up to apply. Let's see how it looks. And it looks pretty good. I think we just need to go in here to this area right by these straps and we'll just clean these areas up a little bit more. Perfect. And then let's just paint in a little bit more of this rock right there. Perfect, that looks pretty great just like that. We won't really notice this area too much anyway. And if we need to clean it up, we can always go in there and refine that a little bit. So this looks great. Let's just head up to done. And there we go. We've already removed that background and it's already looking quite Nice, it's looking much more interesting now. So now we have our climber and we have our mountain. So let's make sure we have that climber layer selected. I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard again. And this time I'm going to head up to my top tool modifier bar and I'm going to flip this so that he's facing the other direction. And then I'm going to drag him over here to the left a little bit. And I can see in here around the mask, we have a little bit of haloing going on. So let's clean that up really quickly by heading over to our Refine Tools. And we're gonna go up here to the Top Tool Modifier bar and we're gonna select this Chisel Mask tool. Now with our Chisel Mask tool selected, we're gonna to go to our Mode and we're gonna make sure it's set to Remove so that we remove the halo edge around our subject. And then we're just going to double click this tool. And you can see it removes that edge from around the entirety of our subject. And I might do it just one more time so that we can get this edge removed as well. 
and that looks about perfect. Now we've removed all of the edges and halos around him so that we just see our climber there. And I think that looks pretty good as far as our tone goes for the climber. And we can always readjust later on. But now let's modify our mountains layer. So let's select the mountains. And let's go into the effects tab. Let's add a filter. And let's add the lens blur filter. And in this lens blur filter, I'm going to use this more menu. And I'm going to choose bokeh small. Like that. So we blur that background and it looks like we have a bit more of a shallow depth of field here so that our climber really stands out within the scene. So I think the two look pretty consistent as far as tone goes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to my layers pane and I'm going to right click and I'm going to I'll select this climber layer here and then I'll right click and I'll select new stamped layer. And let's just rename this layer final because it's our final layer with these two different layers blended into it. And now with this final, we can start getting creative with the look. So the first thing I want to do is just go into the develop tab and I'm going to use this AI auto button. And that's just going to bring out all of the tones within my scene. Let's just pull back on this auto slider quite a bit, probably about down to 39 or 40 or so. Now let's go into the effects tab. Let's add one of my favorite filters, the sunshine filter. Just like that. And let's use this strong preset. And that's just going to add in a bit of contrast to the entirety of the photograph, making sure that these two different layers look natural and consistent with one another. Then let's go over to the add filter option again. Let's add the weather filter here. And let's go into the more style winter is coming. Then let's pull up on the opacity all the way. And that will give us a feel for what the climber is experiencing in their environment with all of that snow. Then let's add one last filter just to color grade and stylize. And let's add the Lutz filter, really awesome filter for coloring the scene. And especially if you want to add in a bit more of a mood to the, the photograph, the Lutz filter is awesome for that. So let's go into this more menu and let's just go to simple warm, just like that. So now let's head into the layers pane and let's take a look at the before. And here's the after. Thanks so much for joining me on these eight crazy days of editing. I really appreciate it. And I hope you've learned a lot about some new ways to creatively adjust and modify your photography. I'll see you in the next course or the next lesson. Thanks so much. Have a great holiday, everybody.